Isabel Baird in the center, pioneer of television, looks in at Movie Tone Studio. This is very different to a television sound camera, but through it, Mr. Baird is going to tell Australia and New Zealand audiences something about the world's latest screen invention. It is now 12 years ago since I produced the first little flickering television image. Today we have in London a regular television service, twice daily, with thousands of lookers in. Television has grown from a scientific novelty to a commercial service. At present, the range is limited to 30 miles in and about London. In this connection, it is interesting to note that as far back as 1928, I spanned the Atlantic with television. That was, of course, purely experimental. But who can foretell the future?